You know, I like the three-slot thumb brake design. I have that for basically every pistol I have. I have it for my PT-99, the 704 Slim. I have it for my Russian Makarov. I have a thumb brake for my little uh, Arminius 22 revolver. Uh, probably my little 25 Auto. And uh, I think that's it for pistols that I have these days. So... Um, you know, I decided to give Sc Tactical Scorpion a try here. It doesn't look so bad. I don't know how thick the leather is, but hopefully it's th proper thickness and proper quality and things like that. So I guess somewhere in a video I've seen, watching hundreds of videos on the Taurus G3, that some Glock hosters will fit and others will not. <laughs> but unfortunately, none of the gun shops here in the locality of Vermont where I'm at have any Glock hosters that I could try. Many of you know I bought the little Kydex hoster. Not really happy with it. It's not really what was shown depicted in the picture. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it, try to return it. But I do need another hoster to carry the G3 for everyday carry. So you know, I bought Tactical Scorpion plates. They seemed okay. So let's, uh, you know decided to order one of their three slot uh, thumb brake hosters. Uh, hopefully it's comparable to my old world and my uh, Bianchi hosters for other uh, firearms. What are this thing on a Monday and here it is three days later. It hasn't been shipped. I sent the seller an email here on eBay. I tried to call them. They're not responding to the emails or phones so I don't know if the business is totally shut down or I'm ever going to get this. They're just taking orders, but not fulfilling the orders because they're closed because of COVID-19. Here it is. End of uh, three days. Late in the evening, I got an email that the tracking number was created. It's not in the system. They haven't shipped it. But they must have seen my emails and got my phone calls. And they decided, hey, it's time to print off a tracking label. That's all they've done. So we have it out of the package. It is a right hand holster. I don't know why that tag on the envelope or package here said left hand. That's metal. Hmm, that's different. Square. Not sure why that's not rounded, but I guess I could always make it round down the road if I find the corners dig into me or something. So leather feels good quality. I don't know what they did. That right there seems a little bit wrinkled, but inside leather seems a little dry and a little rough, if you can see that. feels rough to the fingertips, so I don't think I have any mink oil to give it a little coat of something, so I'll have to pick some up. But anyways, let me, oh, come on, focus. Let me get one of my old world holsters and compare it to that. My kid said to me, Dad, that shiny part's going to give you away. Well, you know what? The shiny part <laughs> is against your body, so nobody's ever going to see that. Here's an old world holster that I used for my Taurus PT-99. Yes, it's old. It's got markings on it. <laughs> you know, when did I buy this? 98, 99, something like that. The rivet broke. I put a little shugu to hold it in blaze. Um, I carry this thing on my side for close to 15 years, the PT-99, so it's a leather as thick as the old world, yes, old world seems to be a little bit smoother inside, this is again really rough textured, but you know, this one was like 75 bucks, this one's 35, so... I guess you get what you pay for, but it's really not that bad. Let me get the uh, pistol and put it into it and see what we do, what we get. Some of you probably like Kydex, but I don't know. I'm not a fan of it, so let me pull that out of there. A Kydex, I don't know if you can see that, putting some gentle scratches on the slide. You know, I'm much more pleased with this one than I am the Kydex. Let's pop this thumb brake. Let's give it an upside down shake. Oh, you son of a... Ah. 
doesn't want to come out of there. That's good, man. That's awesome. I like that. Other than the roughness on the inside of the leather, I think this tactical scorpion holster is actually a real good value. And right here, you can't really tell it's curved like to the Glock, but this side it's a little more pronounced and you can really see why. It's a Glock holster that also the Taurus G3 fits into. They are what? Basically the same dimensions. Not a Glock guy, so I don't know which Glock it was that it fits, but back up here might be a little bit loose, but it rubs on one side, space on the other, so I think for personal retention should be sufficient. Barrel's uh, pretty well protected. Not bad, I am happy. I just have the belt kind of slid on my waist real loosely, but it draws in and out real good. I'll show you one last thing before I conclude this video. My belt is one and a quarter. These will only hold a one and a half inch belt, and a one and a half inch belt may be tight. I guess if you had some leather tools or knew something about leather craft, which I do not, there might be some room to maybe open them up a little bit further for a one and three quarter inch belt. But anyways, uh, the belt I have is one and a quarter, seems to fit perfect, so if you're going to go larger than one and a half, you may not... Uh, Will work for you, but there you go. Tactical Scorpion Taurus G3 holster, really meant for the Glock 19. Glock 19, but hey, almost the same dimension, so it works, and I am happy. Even though they took them a couple days to get it shipped out, three days to ship it. I don't know how they did it, but it uh, came here within two days, so. Uh, if you look at the first picture that I posted when I bought it, it said guaranteed delivery by the 27th, so it made it by the 27th, so I was beginning to worry about Tactical Scorpion, but you know what? Got to give them five-star feedback. They came through, and it seems to be a real nice quality. Thanks for viewing. Please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell notification for future videos. Thank you.